In this video, I'm gonna compare what, in my opinion, are two of the best budget audio interfaces you can buy right now. The Focusrite Scarlett 2i4 and the Audient ID22. Hi, I'm Ryan with DIY Music Creator, helping songwriters and producers create to their highest potential. Today I'm comparing these two interfaces. Be sure to stick around to the end because I will be doing a few blind tests to compare the audio quality between the two. So let's start with the Focusrite 2i4. It has two combination mic and instrument jacks on the front along with phantom power so you can power your condenser mics. They also included a pad button which reduces the input level by 10 dB so really loud signals don't clip on the way in. There's a big monitor knob on the front where you can adjust the volume coming out of your speakers, a headphone jack along with uh, a level knob for that, and a direct monitoring knob so that if you're recording and you're experiencing latency, you can just put that to input so that you can perform in time with the track. On the back, you have your two balanced outputs, which I usually plug my Yamaha HS5s into, along with uh, two unbalanced line outputs uh, that are RCA style. And then it has a MIDI in and a MIDI out, and it is USB 2.0 powered. At the time of this filming, you can find these units for as little as $125 US at Reverb.com. It's a great affordable interface to get you started. They also have the newer 4i4 units, which are currently going for about $250 US on Amazon. And they give you an additional two inputs along with uh, an improvement in the main two preamps, giving you an air button, which can allow you to add more brightness on the way in with your recordings. But it looks like they took away the direct monitoring. I'll post the links down below if you're interested. Moving on to the Audient ID22. This unit also gives you uh, two combination inputs on the back, as well as a dedicated uh, JFET DI. And it has the four outputs, but you also get two sends and returns. This is great because if you have an external preamp, you can send it in completely bypassing the audience onboard preamps, which you can't do with the Focusrite unit. You can also uh, set up a compressor, an EQ, or any other outboard gear you have, and then run that in a chain back into your interface so that it becomes a part of your recording on the way in. Each input also has its own dedicated phantom power switch, 10 dB pad, polarity switch, and 100 hertz high pass filter. This is great for filtering out any uh, unwanted rumble, AC unit noise, anything of that nature. All the buttons on the Audient are laid out nice on top, which in my opinion makes them a lot easier to get to, and it looks real nice on the desk. It comes with a, a dim button and a cut button, which allows you to turn your speakers off or quiet really easily. And then these buttons on the side here can be customized however you like them. For example, I use one of mine to just flip in and out of mono, which is really nice when I'm mixing, you know, and I want to check it in mono or, you know, I'm making EQ or compression decisions. You can also switch between different sets of monitors to reference back and forth if you have them set up. To top it all off, this is a unit that you can grow into. It also has a, an optical in and out which means you can connect another unit with eight preamps to it for a total of 10 preamps. This way you can multi-track a drum set or you can make live recordings of your whole band. You can find this unit for $499 US at the time of this recording. Now let's flip to a blind test comparing a singing demo, a voiceover demo, and a mic acoustic guitar demo. All recordings will be using the TechZone Audio Stellar X2 mic, also linked below. Also, please like and subscribe if you want more content like this or dislike if that's how you're feeling today. And let me know in the comments below what audio interface are you using or considering getting?
I thought you were a 10 and you might have been if you didn't act like you were 12. At first you had a handle and then you said you had a fend for your federal precious little self. Now you're checking out again with my supermarket friend. You could go ahead and put me on the shelf. We were buried in ourselves. Oh no. Stuck inside our prison cells. I thought you were a 10 and you might have been if you didn't act like you were 12. At first you had a handle and then you said you had a fend for your federal precious little self. Now you're checking out again with my supermarket friend. You could go ahead and put me on the shelf. We were buried in ourselves. Oh no. Stuck inside our prison cells. Metaphors are not user friendly. They are difficult to find and difficult to use well. Unfortunately, metaphors are a mainstay of good lyric writing, indeed of most creative writing. From total snores like break my heart and feel the emptiness inside, to awakening shocks like the arc of a love affair, metaphors are not user friendly. They are difficult to find and difficult to use well. Unfortunately, Metaphors are a mainstay of good lyric writing, indeed of most creative writing. From total snores like break my heart and feel the emptiness inside, to awakening shocks like the arc of a love affair. There you have it. Now you can judge for yourself which sounds best to you and if the sound and features are worth the price difference for your uses. And now for the results. Option A was the Scarlet 2i4. Option B was the Audi ID22. Both great options. It depends on what features and sound you like. I hope this video was valuable to you. If you liked it, please gently press the like button and softly caress the subscribe button. And most importantly, keep on creating.